Okay, there's another hunter. Doesn't quite know what to do. Is he actually dumb enough to jump in the lava? Did Did he really just jump in the lava? <laughs> That's funny. I think he did, you guys. I think he just jumped right on into the lava. That is hilarious. Yep. <laughs> There's his backpack. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to set up an outpost down in the cave. Yes, we are. That's the plan for today. But before we do that, we're going to upgrade our bow to level three. Uh, all right. So first thing we want to do is repair this because it gets more expensive to repair it as you, uh, uh, you know, as you change the level. So let's see. We need some scrap metal, adhesive, and sinew. So let's repair it first, because otherwise it'll be more expensive to repair it after we upgrade it to the next level. Um, let's put all that stuff in there. Okay, and then um, we need... Let's, let's put the bow in there. So I've made the ingots and the rope, and they're sitting in here. We had, we had over a full stack of sinew, um, and I've... Pretty much caught up on all of my smelting. I have no more ore to smelt, uh, other than you know just the couple little pieces that these guys keep popping out, and I still have them working just on iron because that's what we use the most of. So we'll get those going. All right. So it said we needed weapon parts. Let's just grab the full stack, and we needed crystal. Let's just grab the full stack. Okay. Here we go. Level three bow, people. Oh, we need 210 mass. Son of a gun. All right, where are we at right now? We're at 100. I've got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, and I'm burning a little bit more meat over here, too. That we can feed into that to get it close. And then we'll probably just run the, um, the mass fabricator to finish off the rest. Ah, son of a bitch. Damn hunters. You know what? Screw those guys. Just let them do their worst. I'll just repair later. I don't want to mess with them right now. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's put this stuff in here. See how high up this gets it. Okay, that gets us up to 182. How much did it say we needed? 210. All right, so let's turn this thing on. I'm just gonna overdrive it because I don't have I don't have any patience for today. Um, we'll overdrive this. I know, really bad idea. I keep saying I need to just make some more generators. Uh, instead of doing this overdrive, but I haven't I haven't done that yet. So uh, we have a, a full day ahead of us, and so I want to I want to get going. That's partly why I'm a little bit impatient here to get this done. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab these, and we can throw those into the fabricator as well. Yeah, do your worst, assholes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, two more points, and we're there. 209 and 210. Okay, let's turn this thing off. And then take these off overdrive, too. I got lots of biofuel, so I can afford to do this. It's just not efficient is all. All right, put the biofuel back, and now we should be able to upgrade the bow. Here we go. Level 3 bow, you guys. Woo-hoo. 60% increase in damage. Um, I can already, most of the time, two-shot a level 3 wolf with normal arrows. Now it'll pretty much be a guaranteed two-shot. And we might be able to one-shot a level one now. We'll see. There we go. Look at that, baby. All right. 60%. So the next upgrade is going to be premium weapon parts. I don't even know how to get those. Never seen those. Crystal is not a big deal. 12 rope won't be a big deal. 8 ingots won't be a big deal. Premium weapon parts. Have no idea how to get those. Interesting. I'll have to I'll have to do some reading up on that. Okay. Well, anyway, level three bow. Wow. 
beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's see here. In this crate, I have been uh, making a bunch of stuff that we're going to take down to the cave with us. So let's put the crystal back in here. Um, you know what? Actually, I'd like to make some, some more incendiary ammo, too. I really like that stuff. It's very effective. So, no, no, no. No, don't put that in there. Okay, so we have some... <coughs> Uh, we actually have a, a few incendiary rounds there. Let's grab whatever bullet casings we have. And I guess, we, oh, we just make that in our own inventory, right? Okay, so, yeah, let's craft up a bunch of those. And, and uh, instead of taking the magnum down to the cave, I think I'm going to take our, um, our lever action down there as, so we can use these incendiaries. And I'll just, I'll keep the magnum up here. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the other bullets too just in case but we won't take the shotgun um, so let's leave the shotgun here and all of the shotgun shells um, I don't I don't think I'm gonna take the bow down there either uh, so let's leave the bow here we still have 26 of the premium arrows too which is great if I have room I could take the claymores down there and put it around our new base. I don't know. We'll see about that. Uh, we are going to take the pistol down there. And um, we'll split the ammo in half. And we should get more ammo off the hunters anyways. Alright. So we got all of that. Uh, we do not need to take the lockpicks down. So let's keep those here. <clears throat> uh, we want to make sure that our rifle is fully repaired. What is it? What would it take to upgrade this to level 2? Uh, you know what? Why don't we do that? Do I have 12 pearls? I think I do. Oh, yeah. Why don't we do that? Let's upgrade our rifle, too. Um, we, sh we should have enough to make the... The rope. How much rope did it say it wanted? Uh, six rope. Yeah, easy peasy. So let's make six rope. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we've got the 12... <clears throat> Pearls, six weapon parts is easy peasy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what was the last thing it wanted? Oh, and four ingots. Okay, yeah, we can do that too. Um, one, two, three. Oh, we need more mass. Okay. Uh, again, because we're in a hurry, normally I wouldn't do this, but let's do it. that power going too. Uh, okay. Let's look over here real quick. Uh, both of my chickens are level 10, so we need to find some new chickens soon, but they're doing good on food and water, so we're okay there. The crops are probably, I'm going to say, about two-thirds of the way grown, so we might want to water those before we leave. Okay, so we needed four of these, right? There we go. And then for the actual upgrade itself, it's going to want 140 mass. So, yeah, we're going to have to keep running that. Uh, also, likewise, we should repair this rifle first before we upgrade it. So we need boards, scrap, and zinc. Boards, scrap, and zinc. There we go. Okay, so that's fixed. Uh, put these back in here. Those go there. We've already queued up the the rope, so we can put that stuff back. Zinc goes here, copper goes here, and iron goes there. Okay, so um, we are just waiting for uh, more mass to build up here. Did I not queue up three of these? No, I guess I didn't. Okay. I did. Or not, I'm sorry, not three, four. <clears throat> Alright, let's... Yeah, let's just keep an eye on that stuff. Oh, our power just went out. As soon as that happens, we gotta get the fridge back on. Alright, let's just... Let's turn, take the overdrive off on this. It's a bit much. Okay. 
sometimes when I'm, um, you know, getting stuff ready to do upgrades or build something, I get all the materials ready, but I forget that I need the mass and the power to do it too. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's going to really suck if we, <laughs> if we lose a level two lever action rifle down in the cave, but I mean, we got to take our good weaponry. Uh, we're just not taking all of our stuff down there is the thing. So, you know, worst case scenario, we die. You know, we still got our good shotgun and our good magnum and our good bow. So we will get that bow all, uh, all the way maxed out. I just got to figure out how to come across those advanced weapon parts or whatever they were. They're called. Never seen those at all. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe that's something we would find down in the lava. Um the lava cave actually now that I think about it possible okay so that gives us our ingots so uh, we're working on oh we need six rope okay not a problem one more rope here there we go put that stuff back all right so we have everything we need uh, material wise <clears throat> to upgrade this, we just need to wait for the power and the mass. So, um, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. I'm going to put all of this stuff in here. And I'm going to cut the camera and go check the crops. Maybe cut a little bit of wood and wait until this is built all the way back up for us to do this upgrade. And then... So we're looking for 1,300 power and 140 mass. And then when that's done, <coughs> excuse me, I'll bring you guys back. We'll do the upgrade, and then we'll take off down to the cave and set up our little outpost here. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, uh, we should be ready to go here with our upgrade. Yep, we got the mass and the power built up, so let's grab the stuff. And level 2... Lever action rifle with incendiary rounds. That's going to be pretty badass. Okay, so let's make sure our jennies are topped off. So the power rebuilds while we're gone. Okay, this should be good. We want to shut everything off that we don't need to run. Uh, so these guys, yeah, these guys are turned off. Uh, all of this stuff is turned off. We'll let both of those guys run at normal speed to to keep the power or get the power filled back up. Uh, so right now we only have point eleven going out, which is the refrigerator and the grow lights up above. So we should be good to go there. Um, let's give the chickens a hit of water. Um, that's not what I meant to do, but that's all right. Yeah, I I gave them too many or too much, but that's okay. All right. And I wanna, I'm going to take six canteens down there with us, and we're going to keep those canteens down there, and then I'll just make some more for up here. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, the wood's topped off on the fire. Uh, let's eat. So can I eat a chicken dinner? I can. Beautiful. Uh, incidentally, I am max health, 125, so there's no cap beyond 125. So, yeah, there you go. All right, now, for food, uh, we are going to take protein bars down there with us um, so let's take um, let's take 60 because why not for carbs we're gonna take this water too uh, I think I'm gonna take the tomatoes and because these are really you know these are the best single carbs and I've got you know more tomatoes growing up above and then, I don't know, maybe we should take some blueberries, too. So let's take, like, 20 blueberries down there. Okay, so that's take care of food and water. Uh, now, uh, we need to get all of this stuff into our inventory. Oh, let's grab our rifle, by the way. Look at that, man. Nice, level 2 rifle. Okay, so we're going to put that there. Put this glow stick back in here. Now, we need to take all of this stuff here. Okay, so that fits. Um, I want to take a little more wood uh, with us, too. We'll leave maybe like 20 here, and then I'll have to just chop some more wood later. 
Uh, so we got that. I got nine fire starters that we'll take down there with us. Uh, we're going to upgrade the foundation with plates. Uh, so we only need four of those for that. We got a hammer that we're going to take in, down there and leave there. We got four antidotes. Um, so I think the only thing left is our scuba gear. Uh, so we're going to need this and then let's take three tanks should be should be enough. Oh, and our, of course we need our climbing picks too. And let's just take this extra pick so we have plenty of those too. <clears throat> All right, I think we're ready to go. Um, so I'm going to ignore this attack. I just finished repairing too, but fuck those guys. <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. Um, yeah, we closed the door. Okay. Uh, not to mention the fact that we we're not we don't have our normal loadout, so I don't want to fight anything on the way there because we have to save everything for down in the cape. Um, do I have room? I don't even have room to loot. Yeah, so we're just gonna go. Uh, I think hmm, we can't really go that way without going right next to Alpha's base. So let's just go through here. Okay, doesn't look like whoever that is is running back yet. My lower walls are... Oh, come on, man. This is not the time to have to be messing with you guys. Oh, he doesn't see us? Okay. Let's run up this... Oh, he saw us there. Let's run up this way. They're not, they're not gonna leave me alone. Oh shit. Um, ah oh, damn it, I want those shotgun shells. <sighs> okay. Uh, we'll take those for sure. The rest of this stuff, I mean, it's nice, but we can live without. Shotgun shells, we are not passing up. That is just not going to happen. So what are we going to do about that? Let's take this. The rest of that stuff we can leave behind. Okay, let's go. Now, normally I would have gone out the other direction uh, and just skirted these assholes, but... We were being attacked, you know, so didn't quite work out that way. Let's avoid everything else as much as we can. I'd like to pick those blueberries, but we don't really need carbs right now anyway, so. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if this is ultimately going to be worth it. But well, we're going to do it anyways. Maybe it will. Because, you know, the chest down in the lava cave gives some amazing stuff. <clears throat> but is it enough stuff to make it worthwhile to, you know, farm it on a regular basis? Considering, you know, the resources that you need just to go down into the caves to begin with. And fight off the hunters to get there and that sort of thing. I don't know. So we'll see. We're going to do it anyways. Whether it makes sense to do it or not. Just because we will. Um, yeah, I don't think we have room for any of that stuff. So the idea is we set up the, you know, the outpost down here. And, you know, every time we come down, we just make sure we keep it well stocked. We bring extra nails and food and whatever with us. And then, you know, that way we can come down here and stay, stay down longer than we normally could. And just, you know, farm the lava tunnels. Just kind of go back and forth. That's the idea anyways. How, like I said, how practical that's ultimately going to be. Not not really sure until we get in and try it. We might, we might as well not use up our 
O2 until we have to. Alright. This is close enough. The entrance is directly below us here. So yeah, this ought to be interesting, to say the least. There's a clam there, but I don't have room for it. I'm and I'm again I'm wondering if we find those advanced weapon parts or whatever they whatever they're called in the lava cave. I can't think I mean I've raided Charlie like four times now and they never had them. So I'm not really sure. I've never seen them um well the, the actual the cave hunters, you know, the not the lava cave hunters, but the cave hunters proper, they don't drop anything good. They drop nine mil ammo. Uh one thing one good thing about them that I've noticed, though, uh, or maybe I should say haven't noticed, is they don't seem to use explosives. So I've never seen them use grenades or anything like that, which is going to mean, you know, repairs on our outposts when they attack are going to be a little uh, more manageable, I guess is the word. Okay, let's look around for any fires in the immediate vicinity. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to head... What I'm going to do is I'm going to build this outpost next to the water that's closest to the entrance to the lava tunnel. There's, there's no water right by the entrance, but there's some just kind of up the hill. Um, I don't have room to grab this coal, unfortunately, so we won't worry about that right now. In fact, we don't have room to grab anything. We just got to get there. So once we get everything set up, you know, then we can... Uh, work on getting resources and that sort of thing. But anyway, yeah, there's a, there's a water flow um, kind of up the... Yeah, here, here comes this guy. He's really hard to hit. But we got lots of 9mm ammo, so I can't even... I can't even butcher him. Uh, you know what we could do, though, actually... Let's temporarily drop uh, these boards, and I want to make another bandage from his hide. Okay. We can't get the, the third piece of hide because we, we need these boards for repairs, so that's all we can do. Hey, we got an extra bandage out of the deal, though, so I can't complain too much about that. Okay, so let's head on down. Um, most likely, we're going to have to fight at least one group of hunters to get there, but it all just depends upon where they're positioned. Okay, I don't see any right by the edge of the water, so let's... Hop on over there. Other thing I want to do is I want to switch out to our incendiaries. And we can... We found some incendiary, incendiary ammo down in the loot, too. So it doesn't look like they're in this cavern at all, so we have to go through this tunnel. I'll be surprised if we can get all the way where we're going without having to fight them once, but if we can, that'd be fantastic. Because again, fighting the, the cave hunters, it's just not worth it. I don't understand that. You know, they're supposed to be the most dangerous hunters in the game and they drop shit. I don't get it. Okay, we want to go that way. All right, so far, so good. There's some mushrooms and some coal. Are you really going to let us get all the way up here, game, without having to fight any cave hunters? I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. 
Oh, well. The, the game's making up for it with the damn bats. Man, they're hard to hit. Unbelievably hard to hit. Well, thank God he didn't... didn't, uh, infect us. Don't want to use our antibiotics until we have to. Bastard. Okay, let's do the same thing with this bat. So we're going to drop this on the ground. Grab those two, change them to bandages, and then pick our planks back up. Okay. Well, this is the spot, because uh, this is where the water ends, and then that goes down to the lava cave there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to set up our base right here in this corner. And if we set it up like this, then we, uh, we only have two walls that we have to worry about. So let's put it... Oh, I didn't bring any stairs, so I guess it needs to be low enough for us to just hop into it, which is fine. All right, we'll put that there. Let's grab this and upgrade the foundation to a metal one. Beautiful. All right, most likely any hunters that we fight are going to come from that direction. So we're going to put the window here. We can put the door on this side. And we don't really need to put these other walls up. Uh, or this other wall up. Okay. Um, so let's take and put our, <clears throat> our chest... Um, I want to put it in a place where it's not going to take fire. <clears throat> I wonder if they... Nah, I don't, I don't see them climbing up there. Uh, we are going to put a roof on, too. Just in case I'm wrong about the, uh, the whole grenade thing and they, they can lob them. Okay. Oh, and plus, if there's bats around, too, that'll protect us from the bats. Okay, so, um, you know what? Damn it. Since I brought the wall, let's just use it. Let's just use it. We'll just put that there. That way, we don't have to worry about that corner. Okay. So, now, we're going to put our storage chest down. Uh, let's just put it right here, I guess. Okay, and we're going to put our stove right here. Put the fire starters in there. Um, fill it up with wood. And then we're going to put the food stuff in here, the antidotes, uh, all the scuba gear. We don't need to carry that around in the cave with us. <clears throat> Uh, the boards, the shotgun shells, which we're going to take back to the surface with us. The hammer, the nails. Um, I don't even think we really need an axe down here. Because we can open those crates with the with the picks. Let's keep our, our pickaxes there. And yeah, I think we're good. I think we're in good shape. Okay, we are going to need to eat. So let's have a, a tomato. And that, man, tomatoes are good. And we're probably going to need a couple of these. Let's just eat one. Yeah, we're going to need, definitely need more than one. Probably three. All right, that gets us in pretty good shape. Um, we'll drink one thing of water now. 
and then we'll just go fill this one up out here and put it in the fire so it's ready to go um, when we come back. So we basically can stay down there as long as five canteens of water can sustain us. And then later on it'll be six, but I don't want to, I don't want to actually start this fire yet because uh, we have to be conservative. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to go farm the volcano, or not the volcano, the lava caves. Looking for the good crates, man. We do have the, you know, the hunters down there with the gas mess on that we have to contend with. They don't really seem to be any worse, though, than the than the normal hunters, from, from what I can tell. All right, let's head on down. So my plan here is to to go all the way to the other end of the lava cave and loot the crates and then, you know, come back and kind of make the make the the circuit so to speak. And then when we come back, um, you know, we we climb up here, we refresh our water, we drop off our loot and then do it again. Um, for as long as we have resources to to last us. All right, cool. So we'll use the pistol for um, the bats because there are bats down here and the rifle with the incendiary rounds for the hunters. And then of course, you know, there's still crystal and other resources down here that we can grab too. But our main, our main thing is to go after the crates. So we just want to kind of look around and check for all of them. I don't see anything on this side. Avoiding the lava, of course. Okay. And I'm hoping we can find those advanced weapon parts down here. Because uh, if we can't, I have no idea where else we would get them. Okay, let's grab this. And then head up this ramp here. So far, no crates, which kind of sucks. But, you know, they could they could respawn behind us. Oh, did I just see a... We want more phosphorus, too, of course. Well, we want pretty much everything down here. What? That wasn't me. I didn't just jack around in a chamber. Okay. I was going to say. So it's up there or around the corner here. guys are so stupid. Oh shit, he wasted a round, damn it. I hate that. He moved right when I pulled the trigger. Man, maybe we don't need the incendiary rounds on these guys. If we can one-shot them. I mean, technically they're not really armored, they, you know. Uh, all right, so that takes care of that group of yahoos. I guess let's kind of stick to the left. And just keep looking for crates as we go along here. Oh, there's more. Let's switch back to our normal ammo. If we can one-shot these guys, there's no point in using up incendiaries on them. Oh, 
Oh yeah, they are. They're one shot with normal bullets. Hit them right in the head and they're down. That's good. That's really good. And a crate just popped in over there too. Very nice. They're causing us to use up our bandages though, the bastards. Okay, nice. Let's loot these. Any of these uh, resources, like the wood, for example, we'll keep down here, you know? Okay, our first crate. Come on, give us something good. Incendiary rounds, good, okay. That was definitely the best thing in that crate. How are we doing on hydration? Okay, it's getting down. We gotta got to be able to get all the way to the end of this tunnel and all the way back. I mean, that's the goal anyway. Whether or not we actually can do that remains to be seen. Did I just see a crate up there? I did. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You can get lock picks out of these crates. Molotovs. Let's drink that right now. That'll help with our water situation a little bit. Okay, we'll get this coal. I mean, I'll use the Molotovs if I can get them from the crates, but there's no way in hell I'm going to be making those. Ah, uh, we got a bat. Oh shit, he's right there too. Um... Oh man, I hate those guys. Okay. He didn't infect us though. He bled us, but he didn't infect us. Yeah, uh, it's too bad I dropped him in the lava actually, because we could have used his hide for bandages. Ah, shit, that's too bad. All right, it happened, so can't do anything about it now. All right, let's come up here. Okay, I don't see anything up this way. We got a little lava bridge that we can go across. And, okay, let's go down through here. How's our hydration? That's not too bad. We found that little bottled water, so that actually helped, so we don't have to use the canteens quite as much. Come down through here, grab this coal. Coal we will... Well, you know what? Actually, we should keep the coal down here, because we can use that for the fire. We don't even need to bring the wood down. Well, we did need to bring the wood down for repairing, actually. Is that a box right there? Uh, no, not really. Okay, let's go up this way. Another bat. Much of a pain in the ass these guys are, they are kind of good to have. Oh shit, that's what I needed to bring my axe for. Oh man, okay. Well, I guess we're not going to harvest him. Okay, next time we need to bring the axe. Uh, we just came across there, right? Yeah. Ah, shoot. Okay, well. We still have five bandages. Just looking to see if there's any crates down there. On our second trip down, we'll be in a little bit better shape because we'll have an extra canteen with us to use. There's a box. All right, more water. That's actually fortuitous. <laughs> <laughs> that those provide water. <coughs> Maybe that wasn't an accident. I don't know. Okay, that's going to go back up to the other side. And we are going to go up there because we... I think the very first time we came down here, we found a box really close to the entrance. And then we'll start working our way back down the, the other direction. comes up into a purple looking chamber come on one more box game give us one more box at least before we turn around and go the other way
Doesn't seem to be a ton of, like, coal and crystal down here. But there's some. Okay, we'll go across here. There's some mushrooms. We can also use those for carbs. See, I, I, I like the fact, and I mentioned this before, that the game kind of provides some of the stuff you need while you're down here. So that's a really cool design. How's our hydration? It's getting down there. Oh, there's a there's a hunter. What are you gonna do, asshole? being stupid. Alright, he did. Just listening to see if there was any more up there. Okay, so this is the way out. So we've come all the way to the other end. Let's um let's drink two of these. And uh well, we might as well eat a mushroom too. We don't have any protein with us, but that's fine. We would if I would have brought my axe. That wasn't very smart, but I'll I'll know better next time. Yeah, we found the first crate right here, I think, the first time we came down here. So that's why we want to come all the way up here to check. Okay, let's run back. Hopefully some crates have popped in on the way back. Then we'll climb up the other side, drop off our loot, and then do it all again. So far it seems to be working reasonably well. There's another coal down there we can grab. Uh, I'm not seeing any more crates at the moment, but that doesn't mean more won't pop in. Don't want to touch that lava. No siree. Okay, come on, crates. That's why we're down here, for you guys. There's a coal down here. Any crates? Okay, this should take us back out <clears throat> the other side here. Oh, uh, is that a crate? No. Sort of looked like one, but not. I don't know if these crates re-pop like the ones up above do. Because we haven't seen a single one on the return trip. If they don't, then this... Well, the, the idea of farming them, I guess, isn't going to work. That doesn't mean it, it would still be worth it to come down here and do like a single run for them, though. Yeah, I'm 
not seeing any more of them at the moment. <clears throat> Did we just... wait a minute. Did we just come back to the same wall again? I uh, think we did. Oh man, I got turned around. Okay, that's not good. We're okay though. Uh, let's just take one more thing to drink. I Well, wait a minute. Is that, is that right? Yeah, this is where we were fighting that other guy. Okay, yeah, I got turned around, so let's run back this way. I know, it's hard to believe that old guy got turned around inside of a cave. For some reason, I just have a hard time with direction in this place. Uh, but, you know, once we do it a few times, then we'll become a little more familiar with the layout. Like, I'm, I'm a lot more familiar with the upper layout of the cave now. Or at least the south cave. I've only really done the north cave once so far. Maybe it's this is the direction we were supposed to go? Yeah, let's just run up through here. Maybe we'll find some more crates anyways. Okay, there's another hunter. He doesn't quite know what to do. Is he actually dumb enough to jump in the lava? Did Did he really just jump in the lava? <laughs> I heard him like do a uh, sound like he got hurt. Oh my goodness, that's funny. I think you did, you guys. I think you just jumped right on into the lava. That is hilarious. Yep, <laughs> there's his backpack. Uh, is that reachable? Mm, I don't know, man. That's risky. Risky, 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 he says as he actually attempts to do it. No, you know what? Nope, 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 nope. That's gonna get me killed. I'm not doing it. Whatever is in that backpack, it ain't pack. It ain't worth it. What was I thinking? Oh, that was not good. Okay, we got another hunter here. Hey, dude, can you jump in the lava for us too, please? Like your buddy did. Yep, he's in the lava. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this one. So let's see if we can re. Uh, doing it again aren't we taking red oh we got it okay Whew. get back up slowly <laughs> oh that is funny man that is funny oh I just heard somebody jack another round in uh, where are you dude there's a crystal down there he's around here somewhere I just don't know where he is Oh, that's me. Okay, that's my gun moving. Okay. Oh, there's a box. Okay, good. We found a box. We do need to actually start thinking about getting the hell out of here, though, because um, we're running out of water. Oh, man, that's so funny that they walked into the lava. I love it. All right, more incendiary rounds, some shotgun shells, and some plate. Pretty good stuff. I'll take it. All right, uh, now, hmm, I'm not exactly sure where we need to go, but let's just run up this way. I don't think this goes anywhere here, does it? Well, it goes around the same direction. Okay. So let's run through here. got some more uh, 
coal in here. Grab. Bat. Man, it's, it's a shame I can't butcher those guys, but for some dumbass reason I thought I didn't need my axe down here. I really wish we had a hunting knife in this game. I know it would take up an extra inventory slot, but it just seems weird that a survival game doesn't have a hunting knife. Ooh, there's a chest. Nice! Ooh, look at that! Slugs, those are really good ammo. Grab this crystal, and then we really got to start thinking about getting out of here. It's just like I said, it's going to take me a few runs to familiarize myself with the place. How are we doing? Uh, yeah, we're really thirsty. Okay, let's just drink our last two waters, and then we got to go. No more dilly dallying. So, what happens if we go this way? We'll grab the coal. Not that we really have been dilly-dallying, but you know what I mean. Okay, we'll run down here. This looks... yeah, this looks right. Okay, I think we're on the right track now. I recognize some of this stuff here. Uh, let's just take a quick peek over here. Okay. <coughs> we want to come through here and there's the wall up right there beautiful okay oh and a crate nice here let's uh take that back to the surface for mass so i, I haven't counted how many crates we hit on our for oh wow look at that six beautiful I haven't counted how many crates we've hit on our first run down here, but um, I would say we've probably hit maybe half a dozen, something like that. So not too bad for the first run. Uh, you know, plus we got a little bit of crystal, a little bit of coal. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to grab our axe so we can harvest the bats this time fill up our water and then make another run but we are out of time in this episode so here's the deal i'm officially ending the episode here but i'm gonna record the next run so if you want to stick around and watch the next run then stick around and watch the next run if you don't then thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. I'm just making sure there's no hunters up here. I think it looks pretty good. All right. See you guys. Bye. Look at that. We got coal right next to the base, too. Okay. So for the rest of you guys that are sticking around and watching this, um, we're going to do at least one more run, and we'll see how things go. So needless to say this is going to be a very long episode but you have chosen to stick around which by the way i appreciate um let's go fill up our water and let's do another at least one more run and we'll just see how things go the only thing i have to kind of keep in mind is uh nah we should be fine on power back at the main base I turned the extractors off. The refiners aren't going to be doing anything. Um, because they have nothing in them. So it's really just the plant lights. But I think we'll be fine. Okay, so let's stick this in here. We'll put that in there. All of the loot goes in here. Um, yeah. It's just stuff we don't need to take back down man i might need to actually i might need to have two chests could i make another chest actually probably can't huh i need three rope 
Uh, yeah, we can make another chest. So let's make three cordage. And then uh, we've got the nails and we got the boards. Yeah, let's do it. Because uh, we're not going to be able to fit everything in here. Um, okay, so yeah, let's, uh, let's eat some mushrooms. We'll eat one tomato. And maybe, say, like, two blueberries. Gets our carbs almost all the way up. Uh, no, pretty much gets them all the way up. Okay, good. Um, we'll drink that water and cook these waters up. Okay, now let's make the box, the second box. <clears throat> and then that can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there. If we if we come across any um any biofuel we should save that for making more um, ignition ignition sources. Okay, so let's let's not even take the incendiaries with us. We don't need to. Yeah, base is under attack. Hopefully, it'll it'll hold. It can hold up. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's drink up and get some protein so probably see now now we'll bring the axe with us right so then i can actually act ax get that actually <laughs> sorry um get the meat off the bats <clears throat> and then you know we can use that for protein too but for now we're gonna have to eat these all right let's drink up and then fill up the this time we'll have six canteen oh hunters Okay, I'd rather not mess with those guys if we don't have to. They're just not worth it. Um, we'll have six canteens with us. Plus, if we can, you know, luck out and get a couple more uh, water bottles, too. While we're down there, that would be great. Let's just avoid this homie. So I'm going to just let this burn because the ignition thingies are actually more precious than the fuel because of the fact that we have like pretty much unlimited coal supply down here. <clears throat> so I'm not going to put the fire, <clears throat> excuse me, put the fire out because, you know, then we use up another one of these. Uh, okay, so I think we're ready to go other than uh, waiting for these two guys and we will take some coal and top the fire off once these are done before we head back out again. Okay, so those are finished. Top that fire off, put the coal in there. All right, guys, I need to take a quick break in real life, so I'm just going to pause the game, and I will be uh, right back. Don't go away. All right, let's go ahead and do our second run. I think we're good to go. We want to avoid the hunters down that way if we can. I think they're far enough away to where we don't need to worry about them. Okay, round two. This time we have our axe with us so we can butcher the bats, get their meat and their hide, and make new bandages with the hide, of course. 
And let's see how many crates we can get this time. Get right up to the edge. The way he just kind of flings himself over the edge there is a little, a little unnerving. Just like trying to see if I can already spot any crates. Don't see anything so far. Hopefully the, uh, <clears throat> like I said, the crates respawn. Well, actually they do because I seriously doubt I would have missed that last crate that was sitting right there in plain sight when we first came down here. So, yeah, I'm pretty confident that they do actually respawn. Okay, let's do this. How many, uh, we got four. We have a total of nine normal rounds. Hopefully that'll be enough. If we can just get those headshots in, it's a one-shot guaranteed kill on these guys. Alright, I don't see anything over that way. I thought I might have seen something back that way, but we just came from that direction, so it's not likely. Nothing through there. So one thing I want to try and do is, once we get into the larger cavern, figure out, you know, what the landmark is to get down into this area, because this is our escape tunnel. <laughs> Alright, so... I think that... coming from down that way it's just this kind of like little arch area here and it's also pointing to the south so we can use that to help as well all right good so let's go ahead and get our next batch of resources just kind of Look over that direction for crates. I guess the other question I have too is, um, is it a, a deal, you know, sometimes up above, you get like just a whole mess of crates all over the place and then other times you can hardly find them at all. So I imagine the same, a similar type of, um, situation is at work here okay so we run all the way up here we cross this bridge that's as far as we can go to this part of the cave and we run down through here we want to kind of look down this way not really seeing anything there okay Run through here. Nothing down there. Nothing apparent, anyway. Okay, I see some uh, some phosphorus up there, so that's good. And I hear a bat. There's something where he is. <clears throat> Let's run back this way. he at? Um, hmm, I don't know. I hear him, I just don't see him. <clears throat> Mr. Bat, where are you at? I don't know. Okay, well, let's just be wary of him. I don't see any crates down there, but there is a couple of nodes of coal. But let's go up here first and get the phosphorus.
Where are you? Is he stuck in the wall or something, maybe? Huh, I don't know. He's gonna sneak up right behind us and bite us in the ass. You just watch. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, I'm stuck. Hello? Oh. Okay. <laughs> That was weird. <coughs> that was very weird. <coughs> okay. Well, <coughs> we can remake our bandage anyways. And, uh, yeah, we got a piece of meat off that deal. Crazy, man. Crazy. Okay, let's run up here. I believe this is the tunnel that goes up to the other side. Check for crates. Yeah, that was really weird. He was like stuck on my... Oh, here we go. He was stuck on my head. Alright. Give us something good, man. A health kit. And a rope. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, hey. Hey, oh. Oh, hey. Hey, oh. There's the next one. Making me use my bandages. Well, there's one piece of cloth. <clears throat> okay, good. So we can at least make up for one of those bandages. Okay, let's go up this way. I am aware that my health is a bit on the low side, so we're going to have to... Be cognizant of that. So far, we've only found one crate, though, so... Hasn't been the best run crate-wise. But I'm going to need to do this a few times to get a feel for the crate spawns, because it's probably, like I was saying earlier, it's probably a situation where sometimes there's a bunch of them, and then other times you're just not going to find hardly anything. That's my guess, anyway. Okay, we got some shrooms and some coal here. And let's look over here real quick. You know what, actually, I think I'm going to do? I'm going to climb up here, find some water to wash my hands off. Let's do that. Oh, we need a drink, too. We went through that whole cavern without drinking. Can I drink while I'm on the side of the thing here? I can. Yeah, okay. I want to save my canteens, obviously, for drinking. Uh, where am I going, by the way? Oh, yeah. We need to go that way. <laughs> going, what the hell, man? Looks like that goes all the way up to the, to the roof. Sure glad this doesn't use any stamina. So yeah, we'll go up, wash our hands. Hopefully we can do so without running into any hunters. Kind of going up at an angle here. Um, can he... Oh, he can't transition over there. Okay, so we'll just go all the way up here and then shimmy over. Okay. <clears throat> Plus, we'll get a little bit of a break from the heat by coming up here, too. Of 
go find some water, wash off, and then I'm going to refill my empty canteen with dirty water so we can use it to wash our hands again for the next bath that we kill. Since we're up here too, we might as well grab some of this crystal as long as there's no hunters around. Okay, wash hands. Fill that. <clears throat> um, we're going to actually need to drink more. So what we're going to do is fill these with dirty water too. So <clears throat> at least we can wash our hands when we go back down. Okay. I'm wondering if... Um, hold on a sec. If maybe I should... Uh, have a couple more canteens with me, but we don't want to take too much stuff because then we don't have enough room for the loot. All right, grab that and this phosphorus. Now, if you guys didn't see the episode that I did, um, a few episodes back now, I guess. This cave is actually a north cave. <clears throat> we can't access our map down here, but this is actually the cave that you get to from the north lake, from Pine Lake. So the lava tunnel connects the north cave with the south cave, which is really cool. All right. I think that's all I can see within vis visible range. I don't want to spend a lot of time here. Oh, more phosphorus. Beautiful. More phosphorus and more coal. Wouldn't actually mind killing a bat up here, too, because then we can wash our hands, but... Let's just go with what we got. Okay. Back down to the lava tunnel. Oh, there's hunters up there. Which means I'm probably going the wrong way. Got turned around again. Yeah, we don't want to go that way. Um, which way do we want to go? I think we want to go up that way where we see the green on the roof. Maybe? Or is it this way? See, I'm all turned around again. Or is it up through here? Oh, I bet you it's up through here. Yeah. I think so. Is it? <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, well, all of a sudden, I'll turn around again. Isn't that where the hunters are back up here? Isn't that the way we came, though? Or is it not? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's go, let's go this way. That's just going back up there too. Yeah, I think this is right. Or is it? Uh, maybe it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Okay. So it's kind of the entrance. Uh, it's to the southwest, and it's got stalagmites and stalactites near the entrance. And when you're looking out, you can... Uh, dead ahead, you look at the waterfall. Okay. Just trying to get my bearings, you know, so I'm more familiar with the place. Because I've only been in this cave. This is the north cave once. Um, I'm more familiar with the south cave. Okay, let's get these on and head on back down. Seeing if I can spot some crates while we're up here, but I don't see anything.
Okay, we're going to have to <clears throat> pretty much... Well, we can't we can't dilly dally. Is what I'm trying to say. We sh we should pretty much make a straight line back for the other side, and you know we will of course loot anything that's more or less in our path. But we can't spend a lot of time down here because I well we still have three canteens I guess. Maybe we're not in that bad of shape, but I still think we should you know move back to the other place though as soon as possible. We can't spend a lot of extra time down here, let's just put it that way. Alright, come on crates. So far we've only found one crate running all the way through this place from one side to the other. So we need a little more crate action, game. A little more crate action, please. Okay, so this entrance, just to get our bearings, is to the west, and it's a purple color. We'll try and remember that. There's some coal. Alright, I'm not going to go up that way. But we are going to look. There's some crystal down there. Let's grab that. I'm going to get too close to that lava. <coughs> if this was a real situation, it would already be killing me. But, you know... You know how these video games work. Oh, there's a hunter there. Okay, he doesn't even see us yet. Let me get a sniper off on him. This one's... Oh, they spotted us. Okay. Maybe they'll take another dip in the lava for us. Go for a swim in the lava? No idea where they're at. Oh, they're down there. Okay. They're right down by the coal that we need to get to. You know what, though? We want to waste ammo on these guys, or can we want to try and bypass them? <clears throat> Across down here? No. That's where we need to go out at. Okay, here. Since we're fairly close to the exit, let's go ahead and take that and I'm gonna eat those mushrooms. Oh, that gives us some protein too. Wow, actually, those mushrooms are pretty damn good. Oh, he spotted us. side you're gonna go out at man there you go is there a third one okay let's loot these and 
and uh, we might as well grab this coal. I don't see any crates down that way. Let's go across here and up here. There's another coal. There's uh there's a crate. Okay. So only two crates so far on this run. We got a bandage and some cotton seed. All right, that's that's okay. Not the best stuff in the world, but it's okay. All right, let's go. Let's start uh, moving back now. So I think on our first run, we we got like maybe five or six crates. I, like I said, I didn't count them, but it seemed to me like it was something along those lines. And so far, I mean, we're not all the way back yet, of course, but so far we've only found two. So that's not the best RNG we could have hoped for. <clears throat> I wish the game had, like, cool cooling clothing that you could bring down here, you know? I mean, I know I could take my armor off, but then I don't have any protection. looking over here real quick. Oh, bat. I gotta say, what's that noise? Nice. Actually managed to kill his ass without him nailing us too. And another bandage. Okay, nice. Uh, let's wash our hands. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta get. We gotta get, get. Get going. So our entrance is to the south that we're looking for. Uh, I think it's maybe back over this way. Let's take our last water. Gonna parkour around all this lava. And this is where we need to go it get out. So Yeah, I'm um, Becoming more familiar with the place. Got some crystal on the way out. That's good. Don't see any more boxes. There's some phosphorus. We got another bat. All right, he tagged us, but he, at least he didn't infect us. Let's get him back over here so he's not over the lava. All right, awesome. Two more bandages. 
and three pieces of meat that we can cook up when we get back. Assuming it doesn't all go bad. It shouldn't. Well, it won't all go bad, but some of it could. Let's wash our hands. Come down this way. There's some shrooms. We'll grab those. Let's just eat those right now. Protein and carbs. Gotta love it. Of course, I don't think mushrooms have any, actually have any protein in them in real life. But oh, I hear somebody cocking a gun. How's our armor doing? Eh, it's not too bad. Is that it? We only have three rounds left in this rifle. Normal rounds. Oh, quite a bit of pistol rounds, though, which is good. Okay. Anything around the corner here? Go check over here for a crate. Be nice to get at least one more crate on this run. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll find one right at the end here, like we did last time. Or not. Okay. Well, let's head back up. I think, <clears throat> I think from this point, you guys, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm probably going to edit the video and only show, I, I'm going to do one more run, I think. Um, but I'll probably just show you guys highlights. So I'll show you a hunter fights and any crates that we open up. Um, for the rest of for this final run that I'll do rather than show you the whole thing because you know you've seen it twice now assuming you've continued to watch the video all the way through from the episode um so I'll just show you highlights uh on the third run and then that will be it uh so I'm gonna say goodbye to you all now and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this new way of uh, well, not new way, but new to us of going after uh, the good loot in the game. And hopefully, you know, on our third run, we'll have some better RNG than we had this time around as far as the crates go. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you here. Thank you guys for watching and for hanging out. And we'll see you in the next episode. I'm going to get me some crystal. <laughs>